Plays Ains look good in the matchup. He doesn't make mistakes. He's very good off the 50 50 throw mix ups. And also within that uh, 05 record, most oh. of the. Oh, oh. My God. Okay, but Hbox is uh, starting off strong. Hbox doesn't care about records. He's a god for a reason. I mean, yeah. <laughs> we're casting into the house. Oh. Again. He, he's got something All to right. Dude, Hungrybox wants to win this tournament. I, I'm here for it, honestly. It's been long enough. He is ferocious right now. I was going to say, most of the sets have been 3-0, oh. but Hbox might be uh, a different beast today. Oh my yeah. goodness, misses the grab turnaround, but he's still just got so much presence. At, a, at the Egg Dog Invitational, Hungrybox was telling me that for the first time in several years, uh, he played a friendly session versus Zane and won a majority of the game. It was like 70 to 30. Ooh. And he really wanted to play Zane because he's saying he has something special cooking. Dash forward, crouch there, and the grab was immaculate. Mm -hmm. oh. He just read Zane's jump and raw grabbed on the platform. That is crazy. It's kind of wild because that grab is actually something Hbox does even against on the on the ledge to do like an edge guard versus Zane. Great tipper. Mm -hmm. Where he grabs the Marth coming up. It has like yeah. a deceptively large uh, grab hitbox. Well, well she's so low to the ground. Right. right. You have that uh, that shield forward, like just shield grab the uh, the up beat. Right. It's very similar. I mean, it's kind of a, you got to be this tall to ride. And, oh my god. He's just getting so many raw grabs. Also good DI also off the uh, Zane grab there. Didn't get chain grabbed as we usually see in the sets like this. Okay, just holding oh. down. Yeah, yeah. Zane timing the grab just perfectly to grab the crouching puff. I don't know if the back air was done to evade the up air, but Hbox's landings have been fantastic this set. Mm -hmm. I feel like in a lot of the sets where uh, Zane like kind of cleans up Hbox, he can't land, and he's on the ground so much now. Yeah, he's he's playing like he plays the jump mix up, but a lot of his base neutral has been very ground. I mean, the the tricast before us kind of touched on it briefly, where it's like Hbox believes ground and puff is the future, and I mean, being in crouch and being able to dodge standing grab is just kind of a huge way to just beat out RPS. Yeah, you saw the interaction in the last stock, and he's also able to put out shield while he's crouching too to make it even harder for Zane to get an, uh, get an opening. I mean, right there, if he jumped in, he gets side beat, and the other has to get the proper DI out, or and he gets up tilted if he doesn't. But there, he just stays grounded and crouch cancels the whole thing. Yeah. Case in point. Yeah, and Hbox is really good at doing like the wave dashes in and out while staying completely crouched. Mm -hmm. So you're like low profile a lot of things, and as you said, you know you get access to ASDI down and crouch cancel. I yeah. think Hbox's been doing a good job uh, against or Whoa. using the lead, playing the lead really well, going yeah. right to edge and cleaning up that stock. Yeah. And in tandem with what Vish was saying about uh, how he's making it so hard for Zane to hit him, he's playing two character lengths away from Zane, so Zane is, it, the onus is on him to approach. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's like, are you going to walk forward grab, or are you going to jump forward air? Like, give me something. And, and all of it's pretty reactable when you're in that crouch. It's yeah, it's reactable, so Hbox is in control. But Ooh. as I say that, it's buff. Give her time. It makes it buff. Give her time. Oh, oh, never mind. The double. Air dodge gets called out properly, and we are back to functionally even. Zane I really up. like that Zane went for down air. Actually, oh, oh my god, is that, <laughs> is that, that was zero. really close to being a KO Pump doesn't die zero. that early. No, no. But for a second, we thought. Okay, the near there's nice. Zane's got corner control. He's working platform. Yeah, using all the edge cancels on FOD as well. Oh. Zane is doing such a good job. And now Hbox is playing so aggressively, but as I say that, Zane Great catches tech. the dash back. Really important tech there for Hbox. That could have been another combo extension from Zane. Oh, there's the Oh, tipper. wow. Claws back to a victory. Zane on the board. Dude, yeah. I love thieving the game off of a mix up. <laughs> Nothing feels better than stealing <laughs> one back. Oh, yeah. Hungrybox was doing proper DI on a lot of those throw setups to mitigate the tippers of the earlier stocks, yeah. but that was a juicy one to not DI away for. Yeah. It's unfortunate. Yeah, the, the, I think the platform fell too. Right, right? yeah. So, so maybe he Xbox wasn't able to get the, the DI to plot that he was getting around 60%. Right. So he got blown up for it on the left side. Exactly. And we're back to it, just right back to fight. I mean, I yeah. don't think it's the Sage. It's definitely like just a matter of like inches. Whoa! God, pretty exactly. tech, though. It can be scary to play Zane against uh, on FOD because Zane is so good at the edge cancel, so you just feel like there's aerials coming at me no matter where I am. Mm -hmm. That's I'm missing a little bit. Whoa! I love drop shield. Like, you have to. Yeah. Like, you either roll there or you just have to soak it. You do so not want again. to get your shield broken, especially because that was perfectly spaced. Oh! Whoa! Okay. That's the that's the really good DI against the tipper, just like slightly above the tipper, and then now the Marth is stuck in the animation. I really love the rest punish with the uh, the roll tipper down smash. Right. Yeah. I feel like he's been he's really been just cracked it. out today on some of these rests, man. Oh, we're in the oh my god. Hbox playing on another level, but Zane said, I don't care. Get him in there. Abe balling. Doesn't even need the edge cancel to continue that combo. Okay, great dash dances, trying to get a grab here on Hbox. 
Hbox staying far enough away to where you don't even get the edge cancel aerial to hit you. I like it. Yeah, like the perfect character length spacing away. So. Just the way he goes from like dash and just wave dash Whoa. through. SDJ has kind of played like this a fair amount, huh? where it's like a very grounded puff, like scooting towards you. Great Mars killer. Oh. Um, but I think that this is kind of a new level of it, just sliding in and under Marth and really just being able to threaten center and threaten options under. Yeah, and you've got to really call out the immaculate edge guarding from HBox in the previous stock as well. Everything going his way right now. Yeah, he also avoided the uh, the Marth killer there. I, as I say that, <laughs> can't avoid a down smash. He's been hitting some mean licks off the down smashes. Ooh, like he got the rest punch earlier. Whoa! <laughs> yeah. Okay. HBox playing super aggressively right now. Like, Trying to call out Zane's jumps with these up airs, and Zane firing right back using fair and trying to hold on center stage. Except between doing raw grab and a uh, fate like uh, drift forward fair, yeah. so HBox can't really approach and take the space. It's kind of crazy how HBox is cr crossing up Zane actually with these wave dash forwards through yeah. Marth, and then it feels like how other people like jump behind shield to do a pressure. It's See? a little crazy because like he's not even like risking being anything but grounded. No, he wants that safety. Yeah. Yeah, and even I, if you get hit, you're still like holding down, yeah. most likely. So I mean, I, I feel like spot. Juan's always at his best when he's kind of gambling, right? When yeah. he makes those big guesses, and manages to find those big payouts. And unless you get tipper, like you can just get it straight hit, you'll still live. Yeah. Like you're at a high enough percent, but Marth can't really kill you unless you get his tipper. Ooh, barely missing the turnaround. That was a grab that HBox could have gotten, actually. Okay. There it is again. Okay. Nice. I love how much he's been using drill as well. Yeah, he was doing a drill up smash as a kill in the last uh, in the last game, doing drill grab. Like, like it's just so good for just stuffing out like an immediate approach a lot of the time. Mm -hmm. And it'll combo into like forward smash or, or sorry up smash or grab. And kind of mess up your DI if you're trying to SDI out of it. I mean, this is this is scary right now for Hbox. Though I mean, yeah, we're, we're getting close oh? to the percentage. Really good sweet spot there from Zane. He gets center control again. This is what happened game one as well. I know. I mean, you just get that one grab. Oh, oh no, no tipper. Tip. No tipper, no tipper. Didn't get the pivot. Hbox gets one backer and Zane doing everything he can to prevent it. I mean, we're looking up tilt maybe here. Yeah, now it's at that percent where up tilt is probably going to KO, but you're outside of a lot of these kind of grab into tipper percentages. Yeah. Okay. Troll cross up. Oh. There again. And up smash. Up smash. Okay. That will kill. Hungrybox with a roar of victory, matching the crowd's energy. I mean, I mean this, well is, this is as close as I think as he's been to like winning a tournament in a while, right? That's like, true, huh? Yeah. He uh, he was in a pretty similar spot at Egg Dog, where he had won every single set 3-0 uh, yeah. up until winner's finals, where he lost game five to Cody. Yeah. And I think in his mind, like, he really wants to victory. <laughs> what? <laughs> he can't believe it either. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> That's my favorite part about Juan. He's always having a good time. Mm -hmm. there, there's always some new way to me and mug the camera, too. <laughs> like, it's incredible. Okay. Yoshi's, I feel like this makes sense from a, a kill perspective, but I've been getting the sense that Jigglypuffs lately have really begun Whoa. to... He Stop fearing Yash and loving it. That was yeah. crazy. He edge cancel up aired into that rest, yeah. too. Like, Hungrybox's movement and his platform play, this set specifically, he's on another level right now. You gotta watch out for spot dodge rest. You gotta watch out for spot dodge rest. Oh. Especially on Yoshi's, where it'll kill super oh. early. Yeah, it's like, it's cool that you DI'd right, but <laughs> those blast zones are near. But HBox has talked about how on stages oh. like Yoshi's, you can chase the other person a little bit more. So even if you have nice you're a, you have a deficit, you can kind of make it back because Puff can actually chase a little bit. On yeah. stages like Dreamland, it can be a little bit difficult. Well, it's because you're always present here, right? right? Like Puff is always nearby, which you can play kind of like to her gain a lot of the time. Mm -hmm. Like you're always just a little bit cautious because she's not, not more than like five character lengths away if you're actually playing neutral. Right. Mm -hmm. oh. oh, dash attack. Oh. oh my God. I actually love the up air from Zane there. Uh, Hbox has been using that jump back uh, forward air to kind of like warp his hit perk box. It's a very good thing that Puffs can do to kind of avoid the up B when mm -hmm. they just do it low. Very gutsy from Zane. Like that right there? Yeah. If you time that right, he gets the ledge grab too. I've noticed that a, a lot of HBox's landings, he's doing a wi oh, oh! That's an enormous trade. Yeah, and he'll take it to the bank. I've noticed that a lot of his landings, he's doing a an air dodge or a wave uh, wave dash back to stay, uh, back oh. to platform, and Zane hasn't really been covering it very much. I don't know what that extension was, but somehow that works out. Yeah, the jab made it happen. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, okay. Usually you just get side B into up tilt, but oh. who tries to go right into down air. Probably I, mean, I respect it. He's pretty safe even if he doesn't land right. the hit because HBox is DIing away. Okay. 
Won't kill quite yet. Yeah, no tipper there. That probably would have KO'd if it was a tipper actually on Yogi's, yeah. right? Yeah, you kinda you kinda commented on it earlier. It just does feel like he's not getting in the vortex near as much as he's used to in his assets. I think he's gotten a little bit better at the grab DI. Sniffing it out. I mean it's it's pretty unreactable. I mean, but if you can see the animations and you know they're different, mm -hmm. it's, it's gotta easy. read your opponent. Exactly. Stop looking at the conch, start looking at the grab animations. I gotta say, Hbox's wave dash has also been super long this yeah. entire yeah. set. Oh, Wait, that's it. That's gonna be it. Yeah. That's it. No jump. Grab your, grab no! Hands. Why'd you jump so many times? You've got so many. I mean, it'd be a shame not to use, use them, right? Gotta use them all. Going. Gotta use them all. Hbox is playing so aggressively right now, just trying to get in Zane's face, land, and go for an aerial. I mean, even just like getting him off the stage in any kind of positioning is huge. Just raw. I killed. Just raw. Actually, up smash there was genius. I was wondering, oh, you missed the turnaround into grab or something yeah. like that, but Hbox you. I mean, it covers most getup options. You have enough time for roll. If they refresh ledge, like, it's fairly safe from that position, and you're up a stock anyway. Yeah. Like, actually a great pick there. Also, Hbox up 2-1 in winner's finals right now. Is I, this Hbox's tournament? It <laughs> could be. I've seen doubters say that Hbox may never beat Zayn again. They're all silent. Look at that rest. Blur and Chad in shambles right now. <laughs> oh my god. I mean, maybe we should have had. Oh maybe we should have won on the show match. Blur maybe we should have won on the show match. Maybe it wouldn't have been a 10-0. I mean, it's <laughs> <laughs> like this is this come is, on, this Blur. Is pristine. Oh, look at his movement. Look at both of their yeah. movements, honestly. Oh, look at the way <laughs> that you're taking them. I'm faster than you with Jigglypuff. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Even that really good DI off the yeah. border, right? Like, no extension. You get popped up a little bit. I mean, it's on to Zane here to, I think, just kind of keep the wall up, keep the keep the box out. And he's oh, trying, but Hungrybox's movement and the like his mixing up of landings and going for raw grabs has been getting past Zane's, uh, the 50-50s he's trying to go yeah. for. Even like, there, that was so he, good. Not yeah. doing an attack after doing the back air, instead going for the wave dash and getting the grab behind. Yeah. There's and, levels. And he had to read Zane's shielding. Like, he's oh. completely in Zane's head right now. Yeah, actually. Great DI on the up tilt, too. It was a wonky part of the hitbox, but still. Okay. Like, his survival DI has just improved massively. You know, we always used to joke, like, Hbox DI, right? Yeah. I, I like Zane's patience here, where instead of just going for a fair, he's doing dash dance and waiting for Hbox to drift in. Like, he was trying to use a side B for, like, the floaty killer. He's, he's going for it now, again, but playing a lot more patiently and not throwing out as many whiff punishable aerials. Yeah. I also like how Hbox is playing the lead. Staying in oh. the corner, saying, Zane, you have to kind of close the distance here. I'm okay just like kind of staying grounded and putting these backers out. I like the mix that Zane is throwing in with the, the fade back tipper nair that he's looking for. Because Hbox's neutral has kind of started to neuter out on the, the side beats that he likes to use to get in the up tilts. Yeah. Because he's just mostly playing so grounded that it's like, fishing for this is difficult. Let me try to track your movement in. Because when he's in that wave dash in, it's yeah. a difficult move to, to get a uh, crouch cancel on. When it's mm -hmm. that, and it stuffs out the cross up as he's been getting so much mileage off of yeah. his entire set. I really think that's the, the name of the set so far, is that cross up wave dash. Oh, okay. Oh, I love that double up on it, but it's not going to be enough to kill. Yeah, needed one more, I guess. They'll take that percent though, but that one's gonna kill. That one's nice too, because I believe it's shield both. Yes. Saw the Mars shield coming up, and then the last like uh, bottom part of that down air just shield both yeah. to get the up smash. That's kind of the beauty of down air. It's just like it is so present. Oh, oh. okay. A big nod from Zane. He's he's still in it. Yeah. He's oh, not out. Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, we've seen Zane make a full 3-0 comeback at Supernova in this very yeah. matchup. In this exact spot. In this exact spot. Yeah. I mean, FT's definitely a great spot to do it, too. Oh, oh no, no jump. jump. There's no jump. No jump. He's still taking it. Pull up pain. Oh. Full finish. Shades of Summit. That's right. Oh, my God. The full combo from Jigglypuff off stage. The up air in the middle of that as well, recognizing that he needed to reset his jumps. Yeah. And then full finish. Like, entree, aperitif, everything. This could be it. Hungrybox is one stock away from being in winner's side grands and taking down one of his biggest demons of the last two Hang years. Hang on, though. Hang but on, though. Zane's still cooking. Yeah, but the DI on that tipper. They're wave dashing in tandem again. Uh oh, okay. The good oh. good air dodge there, actually, to get out of it. But yeah. a but big, big conversion potentially. Can Hbox land right now? Zane has completely changed his play style. He's going more for the full, uh, forward, uh, forward drift full, yeah. full up aerials. One and rest. stopping Hungrybox's aggression. One I mean, rest here will be a KO. I mean, phone's ringing, but who's going to pick up here, really? They're both just planes. Edging oh in the God. center, just giving up a little oh, bit of space. Again, cool. the cross up! The cross up again! Wait, that Is that it? it? Is Wait, that it? No jump? No! Oh! He came up the ledge too early. Okay, Rising Fair beats that out. 
the drill. They're just fighting for that airspace and contesting each other over and over again. Zane playing so patiently, dash dancing okay. in center. Hbox catching oh. Zane in the air. Can we please talk about these wave dashes? I mean, the, the wave dashes are sliding crazy. under Rising Fair. It is so difficult right now. I feel like for Zane to get anything. It's so fast again. Yes, yeah. Christ. He's like a snake in the water. Oh, okay. Not gonna lead up smash. He's not gonna be able to kill just yet. But it's percent one that more. he wants. In. Good DI. Oh. Gets out of the Wait. turret. Doesn't Timber. get double down air. That's big. Yeah, he Zane. DI'd out full. And Zane's got a lead now. Actually, really good combo DI from Hbox right now. Oh, oh no. The lightest forward air of oh. all time. The grab. Oh my god. So much reach. spaghetti. <gasps> How is the grab not reaching? Ah. Oh. Big. And that will do it. It's Zane. big. With the pop up. Well deserved pop off. We're in shock. The crowd is going ballistic right now. It is a game five set. There were so many situations. I, I feel like on that left side, Hbox actually had an edge guard <sighs> that he kind of dropped. He did drop that edge yeah. guard. I mean, just barely getting off stage. I mean, we see and a little the, bit here. The grab doesn't hit either. They ju they're that, just dancing. That roll, instead of like punishing the yeah. side beat that you held down on, there were some opportunities. Oh, and he roared. That's vicious. <laughs> oh, God. He wants to stop. Oh my goodness. I mean, you think about this. This is this is years of legacy in this matchup at this point. Teetering on the line. Zane has torn every <laughs> Jigglypuff limb from limb for the last two years, and he does not want to stop now. Oh, I mean, there's just so much more fun to be had. Oh my look god, at look, how look at that. angry he looks. He is locked in. This is a locked in H box. I got to give it in for production here. Raid boss, hungry box. The oh. And the look at the crowd! <laughs> this guy, he's next level. He knows how to play for the fans. He's literally oh, mewing. Okay, okay. How do you beat mewing, Hungrybox, <laughs> in game five? Lock oh, in, Hbox, lock in. This is your moment, Juan. Battle of the Beards right now. Oh, boy. Hbox saying, and we're just getting Going right back to Yoshi's. Jeez. Oh, wow, okay. I mean, no Dreamland. We were saying, I, I mean, it's easier to chase, and I feel like Hbox is actually really good at closing the distance. Yeah. And also, in terms of okay. speed, Hbox might be faster in terms of ground speed with all those wave dashes and like cross ups that with we saw. how he's been yeah. playing today. Absolutely, I also think that Zay not having as much space to like carry on the throw mix up is huge. I think also with his drifts, he's been doing a, a lot of edge cancels off side platform and mixing up his drift afterward. And it's easier to do that when the platforms are closer to each other, especially on Yoshi's. Yeah. yeah. Like I think you, you talked about that up air he did. Uh, the up air to like spot dodge rest oh. that he had on this event that's earlier. The downside is, of course, you're going to get a lot lower percent KOs, oh. even if you don't get like the juicy tippers that you might need on other stages. So Hbox's survival DI has to be really good, but look oh at this God. combo right Zane now. Zane was in complete control, but Hbox finding way back to center stage. Yeah. I've just noticed Zane's starting to really mix in down tilt. Like he's just doing like a little dash forward down tilt. And it's a dash check. It beats the wave dash in, it beats the dash in. But he and held that safe. all last game. He didn't use that at all, right. almost. Like it felt like it was almost entirely an aerial gameplay. Uh, and right now he's just playing very yeah. like boxy grounded, like let's go ahead and play it out. And now we get to play the full mix with the aerials too. Because yeah. he realizes that the cross ups are where Hbox is getting most of his mileage off of it. If he just keeps doing these safe down tilts and holding down on it, even if he gets back aired, he can still make it back to stage. I mean, it gets him the condition for the jump too. Star Ooh. KO is going to give him time to wake on up. Alarm's ringing. Oh. Oh. Yeah, yeah. There, there's the down tilts that you're both talking about there. See it, what I mean? I mean, it's good damage, especially when you're up in stocks like this, right? And up so you'll so take the percent. trade. You'll yeah. take the trade of like a back air for those down tilts. Well, it requires Hbox to make the adjustment as well to start playing at a different spacing, but also yeah. trying to find places to call out uh, like what comes after the down tilt, because a lot of this has been down tilt, down tilt, rising fair, mm -hmm. right? A lot of that is just to stuff out Juan on the ground because he's CCing into the second down tilt, and then he's trying to jump oh, and deal wow. with the forward air. And he's getting blown up for it. I mean, three stocks to one right now. Hbox scrambling to finish this after getting kind of clutched on, <laughs> if we're honest, by Zayn last Definitely. game. Definitely. He just looked at himself on the screen and smiled. I mean, there was a lot of like flubbed movement, too, from Hbox's end. We saw like clean, clean wave dashes. That was a nice little conversion yeah. there. Clean wave dashes, but there was like a couple moments where Hbox is stuck in movement now. Yeah. And that kind of difference oh. adds up. Oh, God. 78, I mean, this is where things start it's getting really shaky. And you can't rest either. No. Yeah. But he's, he's he about uh, tagging on some percent. Wait a second. No, yeah, you really can't. So the threat of getting a KO on that top platform just isn't there. Yeah. Even if you get carried up with uppers, it's not going to KO. And now Zayn knows the only way that Hbox can kill him is laterally. So as long as he keeps throwing out hitboxes uh, directly horizontal. That's it. Hbox will run in. Oh, my God. And lose a stock. And a sigh of relief from Zayn. But what a showing from Hbox. That was... 
shades of old HBox. Yeah. That, that was game quite could the have been everything. I, I would honestly say that's that's brand new HBox to me. Mm -hmm. But the, the the level of play he was reaching definitely feels like he's touching that godhood again. I feel yeah. like he can do it. Absolutely. Like, I didn't feel that way before. But and I mean, people root for him now. That's got to feel great. Yeah. <laughs> he played through the camera beautifully yeah. as well. Yeah. He knows he's got the crowd on his side. There yeah. are people like laughing like hyenas and roaring whenever he hit the rests. Yeah. He's got fans. He's got shooters. I feel like Collision was our turning point. Mm -hmm. That was the first time where I was like, what is going on? The this crowd watched. Hbox to win. Yeah. And there was the tweet beautiful. where it's a uh, <laughs> hungry box's villain tag turns to hero, a tear drips down his face and he smiles. Like he's he a hero to some. He did it, dude. But Zane's in grand finals winner side. This, this is kind of what we expected going into this tournament. Yeah. That yeah. Zane would just be here, but it has been a battle for Zane to get there. And I didn't think Hbox was going to be the one to push Zane to that game five here, but And maybe we'll get a second set. Yeah, maybe we'll get a second. Maybe set. we've got Lucky and Aklo though and loser semis. Uh, right. kind of our unexpected hero mm -hmm. pushing through. I mean So I've been a Lucky fan for a long time. Lucky's been one of my favorite players. He came up to uh, Alaska for Battle of the Last Frontier two and he was one of the first top players I ever met. So seeing him do exceptionally well, especially after kind of some rough seasons it's been really, really cool. Yeah, I've been really liking the resurgence of Lucky this year, both like in content, uh, running Mango Stream in yeah. the mornings, uh, the podcast, and also with his results. Like he's ranked 25 right now after a not as strong 2023, but yeah. he's back in action. I mean, getting top four at an event like this, especially after a couple of close calls uh, and losers, and three owing Mango the way that. <laughs> Joey did was I've really impressive. I've never seen impressive. Mango roll that much. Mango was rolling so much. He's rolling so much. He looked it's, like Bobby Big Balls on last talk every you, game. You got Mango scared as, against a Spacey like that? Yeah. That never happens. It's just the pressure. You know what? If you know the player, the player you're playing against, you know their habits. You can get them and condition them in that sense. Mm -hmm. He knows what he's doing. Yeah. But we got Aklo versus Lucky. Aklo so, also having to go through quite a bit of foxes to make it to this juncture of the tournament. Yeah, real Moki. Beat that's fun. Beat Mo yeah. And the run back, mind you. Mm -hmm. well, After won. losing in winners. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and these two have played several times this year. Um, Lucky actually is up two to one. The last time they played was at, uh, I don't know the last time they played, but I know at a collision, uh, Lucky beat Aklo. I was talking to him uh, backstage before the set.